Hey guys, and welcome to a new Let's Play. Pocahontas for the Sega Genesis. Made in 1996, apparently. Though I think the movie came out in 95. Oh well, who cares? Okay, start game. I have seen a vision. Strange clouds loom on the horizon. That's so. Pocahontas, you must help us through a time of danger and change. Yes, welcome in the white man, and then when he kills us, you know. <laughs> your path will be difficult, but all around you are animal spirits. Yay. Seek them out and let them guide you. Apparently they did a bit piss poor job. Because Pocahontas was like, ah, I like the white ways better. Pocahontas and Rico can help each other solve puzzles. Press C to switch between them. Okay. Rico the raccoon can help Pocahontas. They can collect those thingies, whatever they are. I'm not really sure. Acorns, golden raspberries. Pineapples, I don't, I don't really sure. Who's this boulder on Pocahontas' head? She's like, ah, missed. No, no, don't push it that way. That raccoon was trying to kill her, but he missed. He was just like, I could change history. I could save the Native Americans just by killing her. But, alas, he missed, so... History stays the same. And jump. Okay. So, yeah. Pocahontas. In, these, in this Disney version, it's like a hell of a lot more bustier, if you will. And, like, older than the real Pocahontas would have been. And so yeah, cause I I guess you that would be really weird if they went for like the uh, realistic Pocahontas, cause she was like twelve or something, and nobody really wants to see a romance with some like thirty-five year old English dude and a twelve-year-old girl. That's just weird. Um, I think some movie like attempted it, but. Nobody saw it, so there's your answer. But no, people don't want to see that kind of crap. <laughs> okay. This raccoon needs to find some more thingies, whatever they are, I'm not sure. And I, I have a feeling this raccoon will be attempting to kill Pocahontas several times throughout this playthrough. He's just like every chance he gets, he'll try to drop a boulder on her head or push her off a cliff. Something. Because he was just like, must change history. <laughs> yeah, he's dead set against. On setting up. Uh, fine, yeah. Animals have mystical magical powers. And if you save them, they will give you them. Because, you know, that's what, they, that's what animals do. Well, I guess if you're a Native American, anyway. If you help an animal, they give you mystical magic powers. And he just ran away. Oh, wait, he's back. Mystic power. Mm hmm. I've got the mystical powers of the deer. I can run faster and jump further. Press start to see which spirits you have. Press A to run. Hooray. And jump. Okay. 
Run! Jump! Run! I jump! Okay. She ran face first into that wall. Just. Pfft. If I help these otters, they'll give me magical powers too. Come on, Mystic. Woohoo! Mm hmm. You found the spirit of the otter. Now you can dive and swim. Hooray! Okay. I'm not gonna dive in there. I'm just gonna go down here. There's something down here that I don't know what the hell it does that I collect them anyway. Yeah, that thing. It's a necklace of some sort, but. What does it do? I have no idea. Same thing with those, uh. Acorn pineapple bealies. I don't know what they do. But that raccoon collects them. He's like, woohoo! Acorn! Pineapple! Raspberry! So, I, I don't know. Um. Uh. Oh well. I th I'm leaving that raccoon over there. I don't think he can make it back up here by himself, but who cares? Okay. Yeehaw! Okay. Well, he jumped anyway. He somehow got back up. And he's drowning, but I don't care. Uh. Now, we have to use this log to bring him on, like, so he can get across the lake. But I wonder if you just leave him. Like, oops. Will he go across the lake on his own? I don't know. Dang it! I keep pressing the wrong button. Okay. Okay. Okay, come on, Pocahontas. Go back up. Grab the thing. Grab the thing. Okay. So this raccoon gets off here. Dang it. It's off here. Pushes this rock. And. Yeah, okay. There's a, some kind of thing here that won't let me through. So. Thoganus has to go under here. This floaty island, I guess. And I, I guess get rid of that bird thingy to help that raccoon. So, like, certain animals, like he said, you know, animal spirits will help you on your quest. Here, let me get that first. Autumn leaves are like checkpoints, I think, yeah. Uh, you know, so why are why do I need that raccoon? Like, why don't just like the local animals help me out? Like, there was a rabbit over there, and that's this bird. How come it's being the jackass? Dang it. Um, when I first saw Pocahontas, we didn't like it, because it ended with the, you know, white people and the Native Americans, like, everybody was buddy-buddy, they sent, like, you know, the evil governor back to England, and everything was all hunky-dory, when we know that that is complete bullcrap, so it was just like, man, that, that movie sucked. There's like Mel Gibson. Oh, this movie had Mel Gibson in it too. What the hell? 
Anyway, Mel Gibson's uh, Aztec movie, and where, um, like they're killing each other and whatnot, and then like the Spanish get off their ship and like everything, everybody stops fighting and they're looking at them all like, <sighs> like you know, the Spanish are bringing like civilization or something. It's a crap over, and you're just like, okay, you suck, Mel Gibson. You freaking suck. Maybe we fell out of its nest. Can help by putting it back? Maybe. Maybe not. I could tell that baby bird that he can go straight to hell. And just leave him there. But I will go up and save him, I guess. Since I'm the only one out here for some reason. Just like, Pocahontas, will you do all these stupid things? We're putting all our faith in you. I hope that doesn't come back to bite us in the ass. Dang it. You know, like, <laughs> you totally selling out or something? I don't know. <laughs> That's like impossible, right? I mean, you would never, you would never like, you know, dress up like a white person and change your name to Rebecca or something stupid ass like that. You're always the Pocahontas, the chief's daughter. Oh, come on. One hundred percent Native American, right? Never be like, oh man, I'm still gonna marry a white man, and just like, screw this place. Yes, yes, I know, I just picked it up, cool. Okay, go back. Mystic! The power of the baby bird. Woohoo! Featherfall! Give me that. Now, let's take a flying leap over here. Woohoo! Okay, now we gotta go get. What's his face? Raccoon. No, push the block. Okay, there we go. Raccoon. Let's go. Damn. Okay, come on, that raccoon. Scout the area for me. Push this boulder. Ah, uh, I should have pushed it on Pocahontas. Oh well. Ugh. How far can he go ahead? Can I climb on that tree? No. Pohatin. I think that was what his name was. He was the chief. He was uh, Russell Means. That's what I remember about it. And I remember he was, um... He was here in, uh... Tulsa at one point signing autographs and so we had a poster of this movie it's for him to sign and like the other people in the line were being like real bitches to me and I'm not sure why they were just like oh look at your it's just like, uh, it was like one of the weirdest things that I remember uh, as a child. Just like, huh, I wonder what the hell their problem is. Okay, I'm gonna cut the video here.